my name is Jung Seok Che, and I'm, I'm working as a PI and QNS, and I'm leading the Optics Combined ST SPM room now. As a graduate student, I work at the Seoul National University in Physics Department. For the uh, PhD thesis, I constructed a low temperature AFM system in UHB compatible, and I mostly focus on uh, research of graphene devices using scanning gate microscope technique, which I developed by myself. And after I got the PhD, I moved uh, to the United States and National Institute of Standard and Technology at Gatesburg. And I work as a postdoc there for two periods of time. And as the first part, I work with uh, Joseph A. a. Stroshio. And at that time, I focused on the scanning and microscope study on of the same graphing devices. And after the, the first period, I moved to the same uh, campus, like a different lab, and I'm uh, working on the optics combined AFM system. And after the, uh, after the two period of time, I uh, luckily joined the QNS and I was working as the uh, in here. Uh, when I worked as a uh, last postdoc at the uh, uh, United States, actually I was looking for a job and place. My former uh, postdoc supervisor, Joe Stosho, happened to come to Korea for the conference and met Andreas there. And at the, at the time, the Andreas just studied the QNS here and they're looking for people to work with. And then he uh, uh, announced that the advertisement and his talk and Joe uh, discussed uh, uh, with Andreas at dinner and then Joe introduced me to Andreas and then Andreas wanted to meet me and have an interview and then we both like each other to work with as Jerry and then the suggestion of this new center new center meaning that I kind of lost some period of time to construct in the starting phase of the center but I'm really attracted to move, uh, to decide to come here, first of all, to go back home. And then second of all, there was a really great opportunity uh, research-wise that there was a huge support uh, from Korean government. So I think I can do really uh, great research in here as a team of the QNS. So uh, I, I joined the QNS uh, as a fourth member officially first member to uh, sign the contract in here and at the time we, we are a very small group and we have a really strong interaction I even go out for lunch together with all members of QNS is only four or five people and that was really nice we, I had a uh, interaction with Andreas and Michelle and the first member of uh, QNS is very strong group for a long time already so I feel like I'm really involved in QNS uh, really deeply Uh, now, in our team, we now use uh, two uh, UHB and cryogenic systems. The one is atomic force microscopic technique, uh, which I uh, upgraded from the old STM system. And then uh, the main, uh, main target of this project is to uh, get a ultra high atomic resolution with the functionalized AFM tip. And it's another project. So I just upgraded a, a AFM system from the STM system that I used to use in the uh, Seoul National University into optics combined STM system. I mean, in this system, I uh, upgraded mostly the optics part to generate a, 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 a paired pulse. And then I can do the uh, shaken pulse pair measurement technique. Then I can explore the real-time measurement of uh, single charge or spin uh, on surfaces for defects. It's, it is my first time in my career uh, as a supervisor. One good thing is that I can, I can manage it and then I can uh, make a plan for the uh, project and then I can focus on the project and what I really want to do. This is one uh, better thing in, in my life. The other thing that I, I now I'm feeling is the responsibility for the people actually. The, I should take the, all the responsibility for people I work with for their career in the near future. Uh, so I feel a huge responsibility for them and so it also helped me to focus on the research and then uh, motivate to work uh, more so it's one good thing that I never feel before. When I was just a researcher, actually, I can only focus on my research and my uh, publication and my career steps only so that was relatively easy so I can decide whatever happened. But in nowadays, actually, it's their career, but I need to give 
I just want to give them full support for me to make their career successful as much as I can do. Now our team is most likely focusing on the testing and also stabilizing the system and then also to improve the, the, the level that I want. But I believe that in the, in the really short uh, future, uh, I think we can achieve that goal that the instrument wise. The first goal is definitely uh, produce a good publication, uh, so high rank uh, publication journals. And then, uh, then the second one is that actually I want to train uh, my students and then people work with uh, to be a uh, high level researchers. I just want them to be a high level researcher by with me and then I just want them to learn as many uh, things they can learn in here and then it's, I want it to help really help, help really well for their career in the future too. All right, thank you for watching and then listening for my uh, careers and then research in here at QNS. And then thank you for watching our video clips. And then uh, if you have more interest, you can see more video clips down here. Thank you for watching.